Pardons are now on the way for a simple possession of marijuana. This comes after President Biden's announcement to allow people to get access to things like employment, housing, or educational opportunities. But what does that mean for folks locally? KSN Samantha Boring checked in with some local officials to see what they're saying. Craig Wichita Mayor Brandon Whipple says it's nice to see other leaders take a stance on a quote contentious issue. My hope is that this announcement from the federal government, the actions taken by the Wichita City Council, uh, and really just the buzz going around uh, when it comes to this issue might actually trigger more, uh, more uh, eyes looking at this from, from Topeka. Wichita City Council voted to decriminalize fentanyl testing strips in marijuana a few weeks ago. Mayor Whipple says now that President Biden has made this announcement, this is going to be part of the conversation when the Wichita City Council discusses marijuana with the state legislature. And Mayor Whipple believes this could be involved in this upcoming election. There might be an opportunity uh, where uh, one, one candidate is more uh, interested than the other on taking common sense approaches uh, to uh, remedying, uh, again, a, a policy that frankly has disproportionately hurt people of color uh, and has just limited people's economic potential. KSN News reached out to District Attorney Mark Bennett to see if he sees this impacting Sedgwick County after President Biden called on state governors to take similar action. Bennett replied, quote, I don't see such a decision having an effect on the county until or unless the state legislature removes marijuana from the criminal statutes of the state, it would still be illegal to possess. The governor could continue to issue pardons, but issuing pardons would not change the law, end quote. We reached out to Governor Laura Kelly's office regarding President Biden's Thursday announcement. They said in part, quote, she will continue to consider all clemency and pardon requests based on a complete and thorough review of individual cases. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3. And we reached out to Attorney General Derek Schmidt's team for his reaction on the announcement. So far, we have not received a response.